Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video of Freeland Fire Department training. Last week we worked on engine operations, this week we're going to work on truck. Today we're going to focus on your assignment once you arrive on the fire ground. In Freeland Fire Department, if both the engine and the truck are manned up simultaneously, the truck is generally going to hit the street first. Gives it the optimum ability to be able to locate itself, position itself in the fire ground. Okay, the engine will hit the hydrant and come in behind it. So today, I'm taking the position of engineer. My job is to safely get the, the truck there, along with my firefighters. Then position it in a way that gives me the most scrub area on the building. And also positions me in a way to perform a rescue, if I need to, with the main ladder of either firefighters or civilians. After that is all completed, my next job is to assist with our outside people on putting ground ladders in place so that our firefighters have a way of exiting the building in case they run into trouble. The truck is separated into two areas. This side is the exterior side, the side with the engineer. The officer side is the interior side. Works out very well, it's a nice separation. Now we'll turn to our officer here today we're pleased to have Lieutenant James Gardell, who will be talking to you about his job as lieutenant. All right, it's on. When we arrive on scene of a reported structure fire, we're gonna get off. I'm gonna do a brief walk around of the structure. And then I'm gonna assign the necessary duties to the uh, two crews. Exterior being uh, a ground ladder, necessary coordinated ventilation, assisting the engineer, whatever he may need to get the stick in the air. And then interior crew, we're gonna do an entry and a search, whether that be for a would-be victim or the fire itself. The tools I'm gonna to have are uh, the six foot hook. And then personal preference is the, the New York 44. I think this is more uh, suitable for a, a residential situation. I'm also gonna take a tick. That's gonna help with the search of the fire victim or uh, just helping me see around the structure. Men. When I get off the truck, I'm going to bring the following tools with me. I'm going to have a stand, the iron tier, comes with a standard size uh, maul and halligan bar. I'm also going to get off with a can, two and a half gallons of water. My job is to force entry into the structure, whether that be a front door or a rear door, whatever it needs to be. That's for the engine company to come in behind me and the rest of the truck company. I'm going to make entry up to the fire floor or wherever the fire is, search there, and move my way across. I'll also search above the fire floor and knock down any fires I go. I also coordinate between the engine company and the truck officer on interior ventilation and vents as I go through the structure. Hi, I'm the exterior person. My job is to vent entry search, throw ground ladders, and coordinate with my officer for roof ventilation. This is my fast tool. Go. Junior firefighters also have a responsibility when they're running on the truck. We generally try to run with four senior firefighters but we can also run with two junior firefighters as we're riding positions for six firefighters on this rig. The junior firefighters serve a very important function. Their job is, is to get this bed and get it unloaded, okay? Our firefighters, whether they're juniors or seniors, are taught how to do the 16 throws by themselves and the 24 throws by themselves. That's their responsibility. If they're gonna ride the truck, they gotta be able to handle those ladders. The 35 is generally either gonna be a two or a three, hopefully a three, and they have to be able to use then the truck engineer to help throw that 35. But juniors have a function on the truck, and this is their function. Their job is to get these off and protect our interior firefighters and help with the rescue of civilians. In conclusion, there are some tips that we need to talk about in the way of truck operations, especially when you're responding. When you're in town, you need to follow these duties. It's your job to come off the rig with these tools, okay? If you're going out of town, your job is to be on the radio in the back, because sometimes you can't hear the speaker over that engine noise, and hear what our assignment's going to be. The officer and the engineer are busy up front usually, so you hear what the job's going to be, and then you coordinate amongst your firefighters what you're going to do, okay? So if you're going on a mutual aid call, and you're gonna do truck, either as a first in truck or as in a second in truck, 
Your job is to coordinate when you arrive on the scene, who's gonna take what tools? Who's gonna do what job? So that when you get off the rig, the officer already knows that you're ready to go and ready to handle that responsibility. It's not the time to figure out your game plan once you're standing on the ground or at the back of the rig, okay? The other thing is, if you're gonna do RIT, again, talk to the officer, we have the RIT checklist, discuss amongst all of you in the back who's responsible for what tools. The RIT checklist is split down the middle of the rig. There's stuff on this side, and there's appliances and tools on that side. So you need to decide then who's gonna be responsible for what, and then you're gonna meet at either the front or the rear of the truck. Those are key things when you're running truck company operations. So as this training minutes concludes for our firefighters, we hope this is a refresher of what you are do if you're running on a Freeland Fire Department truck. Again, please stay, stay cautious, stay healthy. Hopefully, we pray to God that this is gonna be over soon and we can get out in the street and do regular training. Thanks again for listening, appreciate it.